Let's solve this easy level JavaScript interview question. Create a function that caches the results of another function. When the memoized function is called with the same arguments, it should return the cached result instead of recomputing. First, let's understand what memoization is and why we need it. Sometimes functions perform heavy computations, like recursive calculations. Calling these functions repeatedly with the same inputs is a waste of computing power. Memoization solves this by caching results for specific inputs. When we see the same input, we return the cached result instead of doing the same calculation. Let's say you have this function that creates a Fibonacci sequence to a given number. Let's give it a high number like 45. As you can see, it takes more than 7 seconds. If you need to call this function again with the same input, that makes the computer calculate the same result again, and because this is a recursive function, it will use unnecessary computing power. So we use memoization to save the result, and next time you call it with the same input, we just return the cache result. Let's call the function again with 45. Now the result is almost instant because we pulled it from the cache and there is no calculation being done. Now let's implement this logic. Create a function named memoize that takes a function as input. To create a cache, we're gonna use a map object. This will store input arguments and their results as values using key value pairs. Next, let's return a new function that converts the arguments to strings using json.stringify. This way, whenever someone calls the function with the same arguments, we will get the exact same string key and we can retrieve the cached result. Now check if the key already exists in the cache. If it does, return the cached result so we don't have to do a calculation again. Otherwise call the original function with its arguments and store the result in cache and then return the result. Let's test it with the Fibonacci sequence again. The first call does the heavy calculation and caches the result. The second call is almost instant because it just retrieves the cached result and it works fine.